Ladies and gentlemen, who are the renegades in the world today? Thank God for the renegades and the lives they lead far ahead of their time. Let's talk to Charlie Sheen about the discussions he's having with certain parties. And it's just so exciting, either which way it goes, uh, that it's, it's hard to continue the radio show right now. Because... I know the power of humanity. I know the power of ideas. I know the power of individuals and the power of groups. When we don't operate inside their left-right paradigm, when we break out of that, I know we can defeat the globalist. I know we can bring justice. I know we can make the world a better place. And uh, coming up, ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Sheen, world-exclusive video in T-minus 8 minutes, 30 seconds. In the next little short segment, I'm going to get into the Girl Scouts. Here in my stack, just openly to be Hitler Yugen. You just can't make this kind of stuff up. We are live worldwide on the radio. Simulcasting on AM and FM dial, global shortwave, the internet streams at InfoWars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv and PrisonPlanet.com, JonesReport.com, InfoWars.net, WhatIsTheEndGame.com, ArnoldExposed.com. MarshallLaw911.info, TruthNews.us, U.S. Girl Scouts prepare for war pestilence. And driving home last night, I was listening to NPR, and I almost had to stop the car. I already knew this, and I already understand it intellectually, but when it hits you, when what you knew was going to happen actually unfolds, it freaks you out. Under AmeriCorps, they have Secure Corps. Bush shut it up in 2002. The Philadelphia Daily News reported high school kids 
being taken and trained by Homeland Security and Warrant Service, fugitive apprehension, coordinating neighborhoods. Then I saw the books written by Rahm Emanuel, the White House Chief of Staff, his speeches, the bills introduced for national compulsory service, them admitting it's going to be a domestic military force under the White House, as big and as strong as the U.S. military, and Obama saying it. And then we cover it, and people laugh at us, and George Soros run Media Matters comes out and says, I'm a liar, none of it exists. Then we see the New York Times a few months ago with a positive article for it showing 14 to 16-year-old Eagle Scouts in black uniforms training with M16s and, quote, seek and destroy against veterans with guns. And it describes them with photos going into houses killing them with Homeland Security. And I had my son in Cub Scouts, but I had to take him out because of this. We get the Boy Scouts email newsletters, and it's talking about it in there. And I'm so conditioned to this, I saw this in my email a month ago and didn't even cover it on air. They just acclimate you to accept it. Now, here's the Girl Scouts. Now, see, Obama said he wanted to address the kids. The Department of Education put out the learning schedule saying how they're going to help the president, how they're going to work with him, how they're going to write letters, how they're going to help him. On telescreens, the federal government coming in with federal education plans. Then Obama bait and switched and took that out to say, hey, I just want to speak to your kids. The government wants to start making announcements to them. It's no big deal. And then I have this article, AFP, AP, they're all covering it. U.S. Girl Scouts prepare for war pestilence. See, we told you they were going to put troops on the streets, and now they announced 400,000 under Homeland Security. 4,000 last year. It's all happening. Troops out running checkpoints. There's the Boy Scouts on your screen. Scouts trained to fight terrorists and more. This is real, ladies and gentlemen. This is the most hardcore, authentic, bona fide tyranny as it gets. The United States wants to enlist 3.4 million Girl Scouts in the effort to combat hurricanes, pandemics, terror attacks, and other disasters. Same thing with the Eagle Eyes program. With 50-plus thousand executives, 500,000 truck drivers, they're just taking everything over. The Department of Homeland Security, DHS, launched a campaign to, to entice the blue, brown, and green-clad multitudes to be even more prepared. Yeah, not just sell cookies. With the promise of a new patch if they pitch in. And it goes on talking about looking for terrorists, watching for terrorists, and how the scouts will now join under Homeland Security with Citizen Corps. See, that's part of Secure Corps, a community-based initiative under Department of Homeland Security, Federal Emergency Management Agency, which coordinates national response to disasters. This is the government wanting your kids for anti-terror. Ladies and gentlemen, this is so bold, so off the charts, and then... I'll probably have Media Matters or Think Progress put up big headlines saying none of this exists. I mean, that they just keep stonewalling. You got to take your children out of Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts. You got to have a huge boycott because then the national group that was set up after the Civil War to, to be a paramilitary group, then they'll stop this. You got to boycott them. I'm calling for a national boycott. If, if they'd have done this with Hitler, they used their Boy Scouts to start the Hitler Jugend. This is how it started in Germany. Hello, this